Hi, I wanted to talk about how enterprises can provide identity protection to their SaaS applications using a strong authentication service from Myvan Login using the VeriSign identity protection token. What is Myvan Login? Myvan Login is a simple, a simple secure on demand service. Using Myvan Login, we provide security and single sign-on to thousands of web applications. Very importantly, we provide strong multi-factor authentication. Today, using the Myvan Login service, we provide two-factor authentication using browser cookies and certificates. This is the same technology that is used today by many of the online banking providers. We also provide additional security using secret question and answers and also a one-time password that is delivered to a user's phone via SMS or even a voice call. However, many of our enterprise customers have asked us to provide more. They have asked for an option to support mobile one-time passwords. So what we did at Myvan Login is we have actually partnered with the best provider in the space, a name everybody knows about, VeriSign. So using the VeriSign Identity Protection Token, you can now use the same token in the Myvan Login service. The VIP token is a one-time password generator that you can easily download, it's free to download, on your mobile device. So you don't need to carry any tokens, any hardware devices. It's all available on your cell phone. So you can download it for free at m.versign.com and use it in the Myvan login service. So I will take you through a brief demonstration of that. Let me now give you a demonstration of using your mobile VIP token to access your My One Login portal. You can always get a free free trial for My One Login by going to myonelogin.com and clicking on the free trial option. And you can go to m.ferrisign.com and get a free download of the VIP token for your cell phone. So now let me take you through a demonstration of uh, actually using this token to access My One Login. As an administrator, you log into Myvan Login and under Site Configuration Preferences, you will see the option for the VIP token. As you can see, we support different kinds of roaming mechanisms in Myvan Login. Uh, you can st start off with your secret question and answers. We also have the ability to send the user a one-time access code to their cell phone via SMS or a phone call and lastly we also have the option to use the VIP token okay so the administrator clicks on the VIP credential hit submit and now the VIP token can be used by any of the users uh, the user simply goes to view profile and within view profile they actually look at the security token option here which is not configured you click on change you put in your password after which you can give your VIP token a name I'm going to call it my VIP token and then you give it the credential ID and security code now you obtain this from your cell phone where you actually downloaded the VIP token for example on the iPhone this is how it looks and you can get the credential ID and security code from there so I'm going to put in my credential ID and look at the security code on my phone this is a dynamic password which keeps changing every 30 seconds there you go my security token has now been registered I can add more VIP tokens if I so wanted I'm going to close this out and that's all okay now let me show you how this is used when the user comes from a new machine okay so I'm going to pull up a new browser here put in my user ID and think of this coming from a new computer 
it does not recognize your second factor so it's prompting you for your VIP token and as you can see it showing me the VIP token I just registered and now the user simply looks at their cell phone and puts in the new code that is displayed out there hit submit and now I can register this new computer with the two-factor authentication from my one login and after which the user can optionally select um, to download the second factor to the machine so I'm going to say this is my work laptop optionally I could have removed this option here if this was a public computer in which case it will always prompt the user for the VIP token so I'm registering the computer and after this I have logged in so I have securely used my VIP token to access the Myvan login site. Let me now take you through the process of a new user registering for Myvan login and registering their VIP token. So the new user is enrolling, they put in their activation code which they got via email. Once the activation code is verified, we take the user through the two-factor authentication process for Myvan login they choose a conference image and they can select a conference message so I'm going to just select something here and say uh, you know my secret dragon and then I can actually give my VIP token a name here so this is where I actually look up the VIP token on my cell phone I give it a name I call it VJ's secure token I put in the credential ID from my cell phone and I put in the dynamic password and press enter once that's verified by VeriSign there you go I can now choose a password I choose a password for my one login and then I can register this computer so that every time I come back from this computer uh, I don't want to be prompted for my VIP token or if I do want to be prompted I can simply uncheck this and not register my computer uh, in this case I do want to register the computer so I'll call it my work laptop and after which you get access to my one login and you can start using the secure single sign-on to web applications now what happens uh, when the user is roaming or for example if somebody tries to access their my one login uh, account from a different computer well the, you put in your username what happens is the second factor is not detected so there you go you're prompted for these uh, one-time password from the VIP token so in this case it's me so I have my VIP token here and now a Fisher would never be able to get this one-time dynamic password that keeps changing so I know I'm highly secure now I put in my security code it got verified by VeriSign and now I simply put in my password I can register this computer if I want well I'm at a kiosk right now I don't want to register it and now I can get access to all my single sign-on applications in my one login thank you